September from September School of Music. And I wanted to welcome you back today for our next lesson on um, ledger lines. So today I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a review to give you a chance to kind of see what, uh, what we've learned over the past couple of lessons and kind of put it into practice for a second. And then also add on to that with a little bit of ledger line. So if you'll look over here with me, I have got a grand staff. Um, and in this grand staff, of course, we have a treble clef, which is also called the G clef. Needs to be done with our right hand. Bass clef with our left hand, also called the F clef. So you'll notice along here, we have a little teeny line and then a couple of lines up there and a couple of lines down here. Well, what are those? Well, those are what we always call ledger lines and they are what strike fear into all piano students <laughs> because they are tough at first to get the hang of, but they're not that bad. They really aren't. They just take a little bit of practice, a little bit more practice than others. Um, so basically what this is, is we have the staff which contains five line notes and four space notes. So that's just about um, nine notes over there, if I'm doing my math correctly. And then that's, uh, obviously we have more notes than that on the piano, right? So we have to have some way of differentiating where all the other notes are on the staff. So we know, okay, if I'm supposed to play this note way up there, I need to have some way to know what that is. So what that would be is like, like a thousand little lines. <laughs> It would be really high up, okay? And the same thing down here, we would have a lots of little teeny lines, and then, you know, if I was supposed to play something way down there. So those are what ledger lines are. They kind of show us quickly um, what a certain note is a little higher than the normal register, right, kind of in the center. So those are actually, they come in use pretty often and so they are good to know they just they are just one of those that just requires a little bit of um, of memorization as well so and this one right here in the center is called middle C and that one is one to definitely definitely acquire to memory because we use that one a lot middle C is right in the center it's the C right in the center of the piano and usually, if you'll look at your piano, whatever you're using, you will see a name of your piano and it will be the C um, below that. So just keep that in mind. Try to go to your piano or your keyboard or whatever you've got and try to locate that middle C because that is pretty important to know where it is. And if you ever see a grand staff, it is that note there with a little teeny line. So what I always tell my students is these little teeny lines are actually long lines. But if we had a staff with all of those long lines across it, we'd be lost. There would be a bunch of long lines and it would be really hard to visually see quickly where we were. So way back when, when musicians were trying to figure this out, they decided a five line staff was the way to go because we could visually see it kind of quickly and be able to know our way around. And so from now on, we have just these little teeny lines to be a quick reference for us. Okay, so what I wanted to do is um, show you a little bit um, on the staff. I'm going to give you a note or write a note on there and I want you to try to um, quickly, you know, practice a little bit on what we've learned. So remember, the lines of the treble clef are every good boy does fine, and the spaces are F, A, C, E. Bass clef, we'll do in a minute. So let's just start with treble clef, okay? So I give you that right there. I'm gonna give you a second to try to figure it out. And it is an F. Okay, let's try there is a B. Okay, we did talk about this one. Middle C. Okay, how about 
that one. That is an E. And that is an A. And we'll do one last one. That is an E. Okay. And so here we have our base cleft. And remember, our lines for our base cleft are great big dogs bite animals, and the spaces are all cows eat grass. Great big dogs bite animals, and all cows eat grass. All right, so I'm going to give you a chance to kind of review a little bit and try to guess which ones they are. A little practice for you. Okay, that is an E. An A, C, D, or G, and a G. All right? Okay, so that's all for today. Just wanted to show you that a little bit, have a little bit of a review, and talk about those ledger lines because they do, they do come in handy to know more often than not. <laughs> so they're good to have a, a handle on. Um, with that, we'll say goodbye for today, friends, and I hope you have a really, really good weekend. And always, thank you, subscribe, and a big thumbs up is super appreciated. Thank you, have a really great day.